more students to pursue careers in the field of space, science and technology to help South Africa and the continent meet their sustainable development goals. Mazibuka is chairperson of the South African Space Technology for Sustainable Development Foundation. <clears throat> he says space science and technology will help the country in many areas, including health, food, security and telecommunications. For more on this sustainable development agenda through space science, we have got him with us. The man himself will be talking about it. So it's wonderful to have you here on the program and uh, welcome to Morning Live. Greetings. So what motivated you to establish this particular space foundation? Yes. Come okay? What motivated you to actually start this, Tobani? Why the space foundation? Yeah, uh, thank you so much. Uh, Actually, what motivated me, I was a commerce person, uh, graduated uh, with master's at the University of KwaZulu-Natal. But after, soon after that, I went to countries uh, like Saudi Arabia, India, China, where I, I saw them using innovations to solve their basic uh, challenges at a, a, a local level. Then it happened that I met an agricultural scientist from Thailand who was using space technology uh, for, crops, uh, for crops. So he was using the laptop and something like a pen to check uh, the crops that are suitable for that particular land. Then the time she pins down that uh, pen, automatically 10 crops suitable for that particular land pops up. So I was impressed. Uh, lucky enough, when I joined the Deben University of Technology for, P for my PhD studies, I got a scholarship by... Science, Space Science Institute. Then they said, I must link commerce with space technology. Then I said, now is the time so that I can bring space to where it can assist people at a grassroots level. Yeah. So that's what motivated me. That's wonderful. That's really lovely. But so now that you have this foundation, what, what are you hoping to achieve with the project? Actually, our, our vision is to ensure participation of African people to space science so that they can take advantage of space technology and its associated benefits. Uh, I want to make sure that there is local participation. You see at the moment, the space is up there for scientists, but problems are with the people there at a grassroots level. But the aim of the developing or designing uh, innovations and technology is to solve problems and improve livelihood. So that's what I want to do because I see the gap between the space and the people. So I want to ensure that there is local beneficiation, there's inclusivity and, diversion, and, and, and diversification. I want to ensure that there is a platform that links innovators and people uh, because they, 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 are, they are using sectors like uh, tourism, nature conservation, health for their survival. So they need this technology to be part of them. They need to touch industrial revolution in order to solve these challenges. We must develop enough about the importance of space so that they participate in space uh, economy and, and become producers, inventors, uh, then being uh, the, the consumers all, all, all the time. Yeah. I mean, you know, there's, there's always this talk about um, space science and technology. I mean, you gave us uh, a, a lovely example of what, you know, other countries are actually using this fall, but I'd love to hear from your perspective, you know, how, how can space and science technology actually be used to tackle modern day challenges that we are currently going through? Yes, uh, thank you much. Uh, thank you very much uh, uh, for that. You see, space technology is capable to bring solutions. Like at the moment, we are, we, we are having this COVID-19 challenge. Uh, the health challenge. So space technology then has the earth observation, satellite communication, and satellite posi positioning. That is helping us to, see, for example, you see the, there is this COVID-19 uh, 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 pandemic sites needs to be in, in, in disinfected, uh, uh, medical needs to be supplied to people. Then satellite communication can help us to monitor even that, it can identify the hotspots. It can uh, identify uh, or monitor social distancing and a number of uh, good benefits by 
space uh, science to the health uh, sector. Mm. I mean, I know some of the things that you, you, you emphasize, I know, is sustainable development, and that's, that's a, a big one. I mean, you've, you've touched on, on COVID very briefly, but in terms of sustainable development, how can this assist um, in terms of, 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 I suppose, the link between this space science and sustainability? What is that link? Great. Great question. Uh, actually, sustainability, I've highlighted a few things from the Sustainable Development Goals 2020 agenda. Sustainability is made up of social, environment, economy, and natural resources. So you need to link this with space technology, where I've highlighted three, like at observation, I've highlighted satellite communication and satellite uh, positioning. What does this mean? It means satellite uh, communication has the power to, 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 to sustainable development by ensuring uh, that there is information that people can use for food security, uh, for health applications, telecommunications, it can reduce disaster, it can prevent humanitarian crises because it brings away awareness, then you take pre prevention uh, measures. Investing in space uh, research and education contributes in bringing scientific knowledge to more people and create new opportunities for innovations and infrastructure. Mm. And what about um, food security of South Africa? That's a major, major yeah. conversation and other natural resources. How will it assist there? Come again. Food security of South Africa and other natural resources. How how would this Come again. assist? Okay, are you uh, obviously struggling to hear me at the moment? Let's just let me let me try one more time. Um, food security of South All Africa right. and other natural resources. Yes. How will this assist in those yes. areas? You, you see, space technology allows to, 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 uh, to, to check the soil. It helps to, to, to monitor the growing of crops. That's why now there's increasing uh, the, 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 the green hubs uh, where people use technology to plant because you do not just irrigate and waste water. It tells you the amount of water that is needed by that particular plant. It tells you when is it going to, to, to grow, when are you going to harvest, when is it going to be ready for the markets. So space technology has a, a lot to do uh, in, in terms of food security. On, on the other hand, you asked about natural resources uh, as well as uh, nature conservation. You see, space technology allows you to track, trap the animals. It, it, it allows you to trap thieves against poaching, against illegal hunting, uh, and, uh, 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 as well as checking the environment, because we, we are using drones there, we are using sensors. Uh, so you can combat all this deforestation, you can combat illegal fishing and all that. If uh, tourists are coming uh, from, uh, or from Europe visiting uh, your, your game reserve, they need to see that big five not hear from you. They want mm. to visit this uh, a, a big five. So our animals, we need them to be uh, tagged so that when they take the game drive, they go exactly where, uh, exactly where animals are. You see, instead of wasting time, they do not find your big five. They go back again disappointed. But space technology will help us uh, to meet and enjoy abundance of our white light. Sure. Well, there is so much. And Tabani, really interesting. We, of course, hoping, you know, we know that school calendars have been disrupted and, you know, it hasn't been, last year wasn't the easiest of years for many, but we do hope that uh, you get momentum even more so this year. And we can see a lot of what you're speaking about realized. So, Thanks, Tabani. And it was lovely to chat to you. Tabani Mazibuko is the chairperson yeah. of the South African Space Technology for Sustainable Development Foundation. All right, let's take a break. When we return, talking cancer. Uh, all right, that'll all happen after the break. Stay tuned.